Good morning, everyone. It's Laura T at Dream Deals One Two Three, and I'm going to do a work with me video. I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I got a bunch of stuff here to list, and I thought I would bring you along with me, and maybe just chat with you. Speaking of chatting with you, if you, uh, I think you would all like uh, common tags, the gal who does that video. She's really good. And she does a chatty work with me that I love to just put on in the background. I, you know, don't listen to every word, but just sort of have it as company while I'm listing. So shall we begin? I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter. Did I say that? I've been thrifting on for eBay for over 20 years and reselling and i um, going to be moving this month, this year, end of, beginning of, well, my husband's going to retire on December 31st, 2023, and then we're going to move the next year. We're going to move from Virginia to Mar, now we're going to move from Maryland to Virginia. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got here. It's a towel box, size medium, uh, kind of a stretchy shift dress, pink. Button, no pocket. Is it lined? Not lined. Made out of, it's got a zipper on the back. I'm just thinking of things I can put in for the search. Anything special. It's just rayon nylon spandex, dry clean only. So I would, with spandex in there, I might put stretch in the title. Uh, Talbots is good. I said it yesterday and I'll said it before and I'll say it again. Mall brands, why not? Let's list them, man. These people for the past 50 years have been buying Talbots or however long it's been around. People love Talbots. There's YouTube videos for uh, women on how to dress at Talbots. Is that Bingley over there? What are you doing, Bingley? Hi, Bingster. Hi, Bingster. Sitting over there behind me, if you can see him. Right here. He's watching the birds and the squirrels outside. You're gonna go and have a closer look, Bingster? But he was getting into something over there. I think a pen got under the shelf and he has got it uh, in his head that he has got to get that pen. I put a couple of shorts of him doing, getting into mischief and uh, I get like hundreds of views in the first few minutes. <laughs> All right, let me see, what are we gonna do? Talbots. Shift, stretch, pink dress. I'm not going to put the size in because I want to see if I can get this exact dress. Let's see. And those are cap sleeves. See that? They're not, they're like not short sleeve, but they're a cap sleeve. Let me put that in and see if anything comes up. I still might have too many words here. Talbot's shift, stretch, pink, dress, cap sleeve. I'm going to take the word shift out and just leave it. Talbot, stretch, pink, dress, cap sleeve. Cap. Oh, there's one that looks kind of like it, but it's not pink. I think this could be it. No, that one says silk blend. That's not it. Oh, that neck is different. There's a lot that are very similar, especially one that keeps coming up, but it's got a, um, it's got like a slit there or something. There's one that looks like it, but it's an orange. Well, okay, can't find the exact one. Let me see if the, I can find the exact one in the solds. I like the exact one because then I can go and copy it and I don't have to change anything. All right, doesn't look like a huge sell-through rate. It's not really the season for this. This looks more like kind of a spring color to me, spring or summer maybe. But that doesn't mean that it can't be listed. Um, summer selling here, similar, not really anything similar. 25, 20, okay. I'm gonna go back to the unsold and put in the size medium so I can get it as close to this as possible. Here is one that looks 
about the same. This one has zip pockets, so it is medium. It's coral. All right, well, I'm just going to go with this one. It says Talbot's medium 10 pink ponte dress cap sleeve career casual stretch classic work. I can use most of those keywords. I'm going to take out the word, the, the 10, because this one doesn't say 10. I just keep it at medium. Take out Ponte, whatever Ponte is. I don't know if that's the name of the style or it's the name of this exact dress. And now I'm going to just fill everything out. Talbot's medium pink dress, cap sleeve, career, casual, stretch, classic work. That's good enough. Um, I try to use up all the keywords, but sometimes, sometimes I just can't think of any. And it's like, that's okay. That's all right. All right, I don't really have to change anything here. That's good. Creon, I'm gonna put very good, no flaws. I shy away from calling anything excellent. Um, because even if this is excellent, you always kind of want to under-promise people and give them more than maybe they expect. And you certainly don't want it to say excellent and then get like, I got a message one time, like, this isn't excellent. This is not excellent at all. <laughs> so I'm just careful with that. I think I'm going to start this at, I just want to move it. I'm going to go 1999. Oh, wow. I was looking... Sometimes I shop for myself, for my husband, for Christmas, if that makes sense. Like, I just tell him, you're buying me this and this and this. Well, since I've been doing these videos, I like to wear fun earrings, you know. I, you probably like, does she just dress up as, with earrings while she's working? No, but, you know, it gives me a chance to do my makeup and hair and put on something maybe different. It's really been nice, actually. I like doing that. Okay, let me get back to this. But anyways, I'm going to show you in a minute, just talking about prices. I was looking for prices, or looking for earrings on eBay. Man, there is some cheap, cheap stuff there. Like, I don't know how, uh, how a lot of people compete with some of these prices. Um, I ordered two pairs of cute earrings and together, including shipping, it was like $5.86, and they were really cute earrings. And they weren't from China, they were, I mean, maybe somebody gets them from China and then sells them. All right, so this is done. I think I had like $7.99 shipping and $6.99. Let's see what else. Just grabbing stuff here, willy-nilly. Land's End, size six. sort of a long sleeve button up when it doesn't have the button here if it does have a button here it's buttoned down if it doesn't but it has buttons it's buttoned up and let's see this feels like a cotton it's always a good keyword is if it's a natural material I wouldn't put like polyester if it was polyester yes it says it's a hundred percent baum wool which means a hundred percent cotton I think bomb wool is German for cotton. I don't know why it doesn't say 100% cotton. All right, so long sleeve, 100% cotton, looks like roses, at least floral, and Land's End, did I say, which is good mall brand. Land's End, long sleeve. I'm talking about if you want to move stuff. You want to sell it. You want a big group of people who buy it. Um, and these are great because they're easy, pretty easy to find, you know. It's great to have those, like I sold a Ralph Lauren uh, camel hair coat the other day for $200. That was great. But they're, they're rare, very rare to find. Land's End long sleeve floral button up shirt blue i'm not gonna put the size in yet i already talked about that. oh i think i might have it's a supima cotton so that's not mine it didn't say 
anything about Supima. Oh, there's a bunch here. Uh, it says no iron, so you can kind of, through process of elimination, here's one small blue floral print. It's very close to it. Well, I might come back to that. This person has a 40% off coupon. Wow. They started this shirt at $33.83 with $5.95 shipping and now they got it down to $21.99 and I guess you get a 40% off of that too. So people are running sales. Wall Street Journal had an article yesterday, uh, not an article, a letter from a lady I, think I talked about a little bit. They were asking people, like, what do they think about the next year? And this lady was talking about eBay, and she's saying, I sell on eBay. And sales are very, very slow. All right, let me move on here. Gosh, this is not... All right, let's see how many are sold. 48. Sold. How many of those are used? 41 are used. I didn't even look at how many hadn't sold. So what's the sell-through rate? 108. So about 50% sell-through rate. So that's not bad. <clears throat> I'm just going to copy this one. Lands out now. That was the, the no iron. Uh, it's not no iron. Just go down here to that one I saw. It's not no iron. It's not no iron. Putting up floral. Is it where is it? Shirt, sure, women's floral button up. There was it. We get here. I made notes about things I should talk about. What time do I get up every day? Well, I get up every morning at the alarm clock's warning, take the 815 into the city. People pushing people no, I don't do that. Just reminded me of a old Bachman Turner overdrive song. Taking care of business every day. I get up at 5.30 and uh, I go to bed at around 10.30 maybe. And it um, takes me a while to get everything ready. Moving kind of slow. Moving kind of slow. And there is Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Remember that? Did anybody watch that? Petticoat Junction? Back in the old days, where we had to actually get up, walk across the whole room to change a channel. Man. Those were the, those were the hard times. <clears throat> I was thinking about technology and how much, oop, turn that off, and how much it helps us and how much we can learn from it how much it's changed everything. It's pretty cool. You gotta ba be balanced though, right? It's hard to be balanced sometimes. Um, okay, this looks good. Cotton blend. No, it's not a cotton blend, Laura. It's 100% cotton, which I will add to the Lands End shirt, woman's button up, 100% cotton. 100% blue floral. Okay, that's got all the info. I think I will start this at $19.99. There's a pretty good uh, sell-through rate on it. $6.99 shipping and save for later. Does it say no iron? No. So cute. What else we got here? What is this? Okay, Talbots. Talbots. Stretchy. Classic fit. 
Women 18W. Ooh, linen and silk blend. Nice. Nice lined. I think these are cropped. Pretty sure. All right, that has good stuff going for it. A nice fabric of linen and silk. A great size. A good brand. I like the color. <clears throat> it's not maybe not quite the season, but uh, that's okay. Tablets linen silk blend pants. Let's just see what comes up. Lined, yeah, they're lined. Lined. Ten came up. It says there's 10, and then it says there's three new and 11 used, which in, if I remember my edition, that's 14. What the heck's going on around here? You gotta do this with sell through. You gotta <coughs> analyze it a little bit. All right, let's see how many are sold out of those 10 or 14. Two, again, not really the season, which is something you gotta think about. like that cashmere or that um, camel hair coat I had. If I had looked up the sell-through rate in say July, it might show a really low sell-through rate because either, even though things sell all the time, um, <coughs> excuse me, it wouldn't be the same and sh sure, it wouldn't be the same as the winter and sure enough it sold this week winter time, right? So you have to think about that and you have to use your head and say, does that really make sense? You can go to something called Terra Peak, which I think if you have a, I don't know if everybody gets it, but if you have a store or a certain kind of uh, a level, you can look at there it and it will show you the last 365 days of sales. So that's maybe a good place to look sometimes too. Um, all right, I gotta get going here. I gotta get going here. All right, so um, here's another thing you can do. You can do take the silk out, put take the Talbots out, put 18W in there, and then see. Now I'm just searching for 18W linen blend lined pants. And one, now one sold for $3.44. Let's see how many are listed if you do that. I thought there might be a few more. Eight listed. Take out lined and take out blend. Let's just see what linen pants. Let's put cropped, because these are cropped. 18W linen cropped pants. 122. I'm going to just for fun put the 18W at the end and see if that changes anything. Put a little, was it 22 there? 122. Okay, so it doesn't matter. All right, so let's go and say used on linen pants, all 18W. And let's see how many are sold. Old. Six. How many did we say were not sold? My memory is so bad. It's like in that split second, I forgot. 48. Not really a great sell through rate. Okay, but again, um, cropped pants maybe are not what people are buying right now. People aren't really buying clothes during Christmas time, I'm finding. Sales have been slow for us, for this closing, clothing reseller. Okay. Um, pick one of these. It looks like it's linen silk. I think I will put linen silk. 
anything's going to come up at all. Not with that size. Nope. Nothing. I got to I spend probably too much time on all this, but it's hard to get the um the uh Hard to find exactly what, you know, comparable. Okay, this one's pretty good. It's just, a, I'm just gonna do this just to get started. They're selling theirs for $21. I don't know. I thought that would be better. I thought because of the size, it would be better. Okay, linen, silk. And these are uh, are they cropped. They're not green. They're kind of a coral. That's a good color. Coral? Coral? Rust? I don't know. Coral. I'm going to put coral rust. I don't know. Cropped linen, women's pet, lined. And pockets. these a long time. All right, got to change this to uh, rust. Is that even a color? It is now, it. Clear all. All right, ankle zip, no. Geometric, no. Casual. Eh. Inseam. No, I don't put that. There. I take a picture of the yardstick. I put it in my photos. That's how I show all the measurements. Don't do a lot. For a shirt, I usually just do pit to pit. But I get a lot of people asking for the back too, so maybe I should just add that. It's not that hard. But I do tell you something. <clears throat> And here's the thing, when you do stuff long enough, that's where good inventions come from. Here's the invention that we need. Okay, here, let me show you. All right, so I take a picture. Hold on a second. This is, this is important. All right. Here. So this is about as far away as... Uh, you know, I'm taking the picture, okay? Can you read those letters? I couldn't. So what we need, and what I may invent in the very near future, or you can do it, it has to be done, is you, is a yardstick or with really big numbers. Just, not the little, maybe the half thing, but just the big numbers. I think a lot of YouTube, a lot of, resellers and clothing resellers and other people too probably who now have to take who are taking pictures that way the pe person can see because uh, if you back up enough with the cam back the camera to show the person this is pit to pit or this is the back or this is the part I'm measuring then you can't see the numbers so we need a bigger one and think how easy that I mean I might just paint this white and paint put numbers on it and uh call it a day what do you think would you would you be interested in something like that if if uh i did something and put something on etsy or had it mass produced made in china and sold on ebay or amazon i have lots of ideas it's just getting them getting them done right i bet everybody has ideas put down your ideas what is an uh, invention that you've thought about your whole life or for five minutes <laughs> and uh you knew it, but you've never um you've never invented it i guess i think that would be a really good uh youtube channel just a channel where people who have could talk about or put out into the universe or ask people to help them to make their own inventions 
or to, to make the invention that they thought about. I've thought of some inventions in the past that have, I thought of this one invention that, uh, I gotta work on this, hold on. Very good, no flaws, let me get this listed. All right, here's the invention. You know how, it, inventions, you wanna solve a problem. So the problem is trash. Everybody hates taking out the trash, right? The big thing. Take, who's going to take out the trash? So my invention was: you remember when you uh, went to the bank? When you, when you go to the bank and you go to the drive-through, and uh, <coughs> they got that thing where you put the money in it and whoosh, it goes away. Why don't we do that with garbage? You put it in some kind of vacuum sealed. There's a tunnels. I don't know how to how it all works out. That's the problem. I got the idea. I just don't know how to make a uh, what do they call it? A template, a prototype, and that sounds like something like an engineer would do. Well, my daughter went to Amsterdam. She said, "Mom, they have that in Amsterdam. They have that kind of garbage." So then one it's like exciting to hear that because you're like oh i did have a good idea but then you're like oh why didn't i do anything about it because i don't know what to do i do know how to get started with a um i think i can my, my speed is more like the yardstick i'll tell you about all the other inventions i've had stay tuned not today i got a list okay one more where are we at here I've been going for 30 minutes almost. I want to do more of these. I want to do more of these just chatty. Okay, here's a Desigual. Pretty sure that that's a pretty good one. I've sold these before. Kind of a artsy dress with bling on it. And it's a size. Does it have the size? These have the size. Oh, I hate it when the tags cut off. I hate that. Um, well, I'm going to figure that out. I might keep this if it fits. It's kind of cute. Oh, and it does have the size on the bottom tag. There's a tip for you. Sometimes the tag is here on the material tag. It's a medium. It still might fit, but that's not, uh, it's not really me. And it looks kind of worn here maybe a little bit maybe not i'm gonna put that aside for a minute I think about that do something else oh i've done enough talbots give me something else something else okay loft okay and this is kind of cute and Taylor Loft, a little light jacket, size medium, lined. Uh, and it's got a, a drawstring here. That's cute. Uh, these ones, though, you just don't know where to start. I guess I do. And Taylor Loft. Brown jacket, okay, it's a loft, brown, light jacket, drawstring. Again, not putting in the size yet. Let's see if I can do this. So we've got here, utility jacket. This kind of looks like it. Inner pockets. No, maybe not. Uh, and Taylor Loft drawstring waist. This one has a different. What is this? No, there's not quite a few. I was going to say there's quite a few. This one's hooded. The thing is, people might put it in here without the word drawstring. I keep looking a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. All right, go to the sold, see if it's there. No. Hmm. 
Okay, hope I'm not boring you. Uh, what are you all doing today? Hmm? All right. Doesn't look like there is. Let me just put. I don't want to take a drawstring. Well, I'm going to just put this one up here. You have one for $15 and $8 shipping. But it looks similar to mine it's a larger size it's large so I got to go in and change that oh, I, I have made some real goose goof ups with this uh, you know so similar I saw one like this so I'm gonna take out all of their words here maybe this wasn't a really good one zip up. Oh, there's so much here that I don't need now. I would say light jacket, brown, uh, drawstring, lined. It's really a drawstring ribbon. I'm going to put ribbon in there. Maybe somebody's looking for this exact one. Light brown, loft size medium, light brown jacket. Oh, now that sounds like light jacket brown. Yes, lined. All right. It's fine. I don't have a lot of words for it. They say it's cotton. What is it? cotton blend. So I'm just going to take that out. I'll just take a picture of the tag that they can read from themselves what it's made of. I do think that's important. I know it's important for me. It's very important that it's a, that I know what kind of material it is. don't like polyester much. <clears throat> Sometimes wool is a little scratchy, but I like the warmth. Boy, it keeps you warm. Oh, come on. Oh, I hit something and it went to, hopefully it went right to my drafts because I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. No, I don't know. Hopefully I didn't lose it. They usually just go right to, yeah. So, zoom draft. And this one doesn't look like it's selling. But, you know, you got to keep in mind that it might sell really well in the spring. So I don't want to give it away. Pre-owned. Very good. No flaws. And put in my custom template here. Tells them I bought it. I tell, tell everybody I bought everything at an estate sale because I usually did buy it at something like that. And that way they don't uh, pester me with little questions like, does this, how many times have you worn this? Or is this fit small? $7.99. Which is that? Ah. Makes a difference if it's over a pound or under a pound to my pricing. All right, that's 1.1 pounds, so that will not go first class. It will go priority, probably in a flat rate. That will cost me $7.60. Um, I get a little bit of a discount on eBay when you buy on eBay. When you buy your postage on eBay, that hit home this week because I had to send gifts to, um, have to, but I gladly, happily sent gifts to people and uh, bought it at USPS, the postage. That is several dollars more without my discount. I appreciate that discount. 
If I didn't have that discount, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be making nearly as much money. Huh? That's a very deep thought there, Laura. How did you put that together? I know, I'm amazing. I amaze you people, don't I? <laughs> sure do amaze myself sometimes. All right, what have we gone here? We've gone 40 minutes. I 